ATM.com. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. On June 26, 1924, 42-year-old Franklin Delano Roosevelt stood at a podium in Madison Square Garden and gave a speech nominating Al Smith as the Democratic candidate for President of the United States. It was a moving and triumphant moment for Roosevelt and those who knew him because less than three years earlier, FDR, who'd been the Democratic vice presidential nominee in 1920, had been crippled by polio. Coming up next, we have the story of those critical years in FDR's life when he determined that he wouldn't surrender to his disability. And instead, he fought, going on, of course, to become the 32nd president of the United States and the longest serving president, the only man ever elected four times. From Warner Brothers in 1960, it's Sunrise at Campobello. The script was adapted from a play written and produced by longtime Hollywood executive Dory Sherry. The play was a huge success on Broadway, and with this production, Sherry himself took his play to the big screen. Ralph Bellamy played the role on Broadway and won a Tony for it, but when casting the film, Warner Brothers pushed hard for a more commercially viable star, somebody like Marlon Brando. But Sherry insisted Bellamy play FDR, and Bellamy delivered one of the great performances of his distinguished career. FDR's wife, Eleanor, is played by Greer Garson, who earned an Oscar nomination in the last great role of her career. The cast also includes Hume Cronin and Gene Hagen. The title, by the way, comes from the location of the Roosevelt summer home on Campobello Island off the coast of Maine. From writer and producer Dory Sherry in 1960, directed by Vincent Donahue, who also directed it on Broadway, here's Sunrise at Campobello. <laughs> 